Hey everyone, welcome to the room. I am Lakeisha Latay. I'm a certified life coach. I've worked with a number of get different individuals and companies as a branding coach. And I am a thought leader who has served in the United States military as a drill sergeant. So let's get into this thought right here about Marcellus Williams. First of all, Mr. Williams is set to pay the ultimate price, 6 p.m. Missouri time, whatever that is, um, for a crime that he was convicted of. Uh, back in 1998, there was a stabbing of a woman at a St. Louis suburb of University City. Report states this attorney did not pursue um, the claim that the DNA, there was no DNA match. No, also that the district attorney's office, I think, or some of the attorneys actually um, handled the weapon that was found in the case and they feel like there was some mishandling of the evidence in the case these are the questions that i want to ask to you i don't understand the governor has refused to review the new information that mr williams team has presented to him he doesn't want to hear it he don't want to see it um i don't understand this is someone's life so what does it hurt them to allow the evidence to be presented, to have the evidence be argued in a court of law and give this man more time to present that evidence. Let's be very, very clear. I think he had a stay four years ago uh, when he was supposed to pay the ultimate price for a crime that he has continued to attest that he did not commit. And so the thing is, is that even then, when they had reasoning to say, look, this is the wrong penalty for this individual, they still refuse to hear the new evidence. And I just, I don't know. I want to know from you guys, do you think that they should do a stay? Do you think that they should actually overturn his conviction if the new evidence shows does not link him to the crime? Um, there, I think there was a gentleman who was actually at that crime scene who says that he was not even there at all. Um, do you think that they should overturn his uh, unalive, and, unalive and penalty and give him life in prison? So I want to know your thoughts. Let's chat down in the comments. I want to know what it is that you are thinking. He is scheduled for 6 p.m. today. There's been so much on TikTok. There's definitely been so much on youtube and as well as instagram about this case and it's coming down we are at the wire i think they said he's already had his last meal this young lady says wait didn't they find evidence that he was innocent and they were like yeah and i think the blank they they executed a junction to not have the evidence proven his innocence shown in court what do you think about the judicial judicial system sound off in the comments i want to know his DNA wasn't found on the victim, but the other suspect's DNA was. And that's the gentleman, if I'm not mistaken, who says, look, it weighed on my conscience. I just cannot let this man be on alive for something that he did not do. And the guy, the other gentleman that was convicted says, look, he was not even there that night. He says, I said he was there just because I was angry. I was upset. I was mad. And I guess he just basically like, I don't want to go down by myself. So I'm going to throw him in the mix. So let's go ahead, let's comment, let's co talk about it in the comment section because I want to know, what do y'all even think about the unaliving penalty? Like, do you think it's cruel and unusual punishment? Do you think that it is given out in a fair and equitable way? Do you think that all cases are looked at the same? The last thing I will bring up is that um, someone um, on TikTok just stated the, the president can't get involved because the president is federal, um, federal section of the government, and that this is a state government issue. I'm asking you, do you think that the federal government should get involved in ex cases like this where there's extenuating circumstances that could potentially prove someone innocent of a crime that they're about to pay the ultimate price for? I really appreciate you watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And again, let's go ahead and let's get the conversation started down in the comment section.